My name is Margot Cuchel. I'm a professor of medicine at UCSF, where I direct the UCSF Benioff Homelessness and Housing Initiative. Today, I'm discussing our article entitled Homelessness and Health, Factors, Evidence, Innovations at Work, and Policy Recommendations. In this paper, we give an overview of what is known and what clinicians and healthcare systems can do to mitigate the negative impacts of homelessness on health. Research shows that homelessness is devastating to health and associated with health bi-directionally. Poor health increases the risk of homelessness and homelessness is harmful to health. People experiencing homelessness have limited access to longitudinal care, increased reliance on the emergency department, increased rates of hospitalization and mortality. The Veterans Affairs, Health Systems, Homeless Patient Aligned Care Teams, HPAC clinics, and Healthcare for the Homeless clinics both model best practices for caring for people experiencing homelessness. They provide low barrier care to increase accessibility and offer on-site social services to better meet their patients' needs. Mainstream health systems should adapt these practices they should also consider screening for homelessness to help clinicians adapt their care and identify which patients would benefit from referrals to homeless services. Health systems have an important role to play. For instance, they should support medical respite, which is post-hospitalization care for those experiencing homelessness who no longer require hospitalizations, but still require ongoing cares. Health systems should support permanent support of housing, which partners subsidize housing with voluntary supportive services and is the evidence-based way to end chronic homelessness. Through the Medicaid 1115 waiver programs, some states are now able to pay for a host of services that are not traditionally covered by health insurance, such as housing navigation and moving costs. Health care providers and health systems have such an important role to play, both by adjusting how they practice and for advocating for the larger scale policy changes that are needed to mitigate and end this crisis. To learn more about homelessness and health, you can read our paper in the February 2024 issue of Health Affairs.